It's Kat with Whimsy Cat DIY Home Decor. Thank you for visiting my channel today. I've got an exciting project for us to work on. We're actually going to be refinishing these two nightstands or end tables. They're in great condition. Um, they're just a little outdated in my opinion. Um, so we're going to use a new paint. I'm excited to tell you about it. Um, but the drawers all function really nicely. Um, the tops, I'll show you um, when we get started. Uh, they are pretty scratched up, so we're going to really give it a good sand. Uh, and then we'll decide what that next step is. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to paint the entire uh, nightstand in one color or if I'm going to do a, a stained wood on top and then paint for the body. And I haven't decided yet about these uh, handles, these poles. I'm not sure if I like them. So, um, but they're, I mean, they're nice. They're not, um, I would keep them and probably use them at some point, but I'm not sure that will fit nicely with this piece once it's painted, but we'll see. So uh, that's still up for uh, a decision. But I wanted to show you what we are working with today. So as usual, the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna give this a thorough clean. We're gonna remove this hardware today. I'm gonna use just some crud cutter to clean. Um, these have been sitting in my garage for a bit, so they're really dusty. Uh, they were thrifted. In fact, I uh, spent $25 for both pieces. So that's a great deal uh, because the shape they're in is excellent. There's really no repair work for me to do. It's just uh, exterior work. So that's always uh, nice. And then I'm going to be using a new paint today. We are using the Melange, hopefully you can see that, the One Paint. Now, I've used Melange before. In fact, you've seen me use uh, the Vagabond Blue on a couple of uh, projects in the past, and I really like the way the paint performs. It's, uh, it's just a really good paint. Now, they've just launched uh, their new uh, paint, which is a One Paint. Uh, which is a self-priming paint, it's a self-leveling paint, it has a built-in top coat, uh, and it's water-based. So uh, it's very low in VOC, and you can use a bit of water to, if you need to, to you know smooth out those brush strokes, but it is self-leveling, so I really don't expect a need to do that. Uh, but I'm really excited to try this paint today, and this color is called Knapsack. Uh, I really like it. Um, we'll see what it looks like once we get it on uh, our piece, but I'm very excited because Melange Paints is a, a paint company here in Texas, in Sugarland, Texas, and as you know, I'm a Fort Worth girl, so I really like supporting my local businesses, and frankly, this paint is really taking off, and it's a good rival for some of the bigger name brands, so I hope you'll give it a try, and I want to thank Melange Paints because they are sponsoring our video today and so uh, looking forward to uh, using this product and I'll let you know my uh, opinion my real thoughts so anyway let's get started we're going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, clean this take off the hardware and we'll get started with the fun part okay it's cleaned and it's dry and now we're ready to sand we're going to use our surf prep sander today I love this sander. You've heard me talk about it before, but I'm working literally in my home. So I'm able to sand. It's attached to a shot vac and it absorbs all the sand dust. There's absolutely no dust that gets released into the air. So I love that part about it. But today, I don't know if you can see this. We can zoom in a bit. Um, but this top on this nightstand is pretty damaged. Let me see if I can zoom in for us. All right, can you see that? There's really a lot of scratches on it, um, a lot of dings and, and dents. Um, so we're going to start with an 80 screen and hopefully that'll take it down. I'm thinking, depending on once I sand this, if we can expose the natural wood, we may do a stain on top of it, or we may leave it natural wood and just top coat it with a poly. So anyway, let's start sanding. Okay, 
we're back. I have gotten everything sanded. We just did a scuff sand. I went ahead and taped up my the inside of my drawers with some painter's tape. Um, I'm gonna leave the doors in, the drawers, excuse me, in while I paint. I don't always do this, but if they are in good working condition, I don't feel a need to take them out. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the doors in. I've also uh, put my piece up on my dollies at the bottom. I love these paint dollies if you uh, don't have a set. I would highly suggest you get some. They're very inexpensive and it allows me to move my piece very easily while I'm painting. So I've got all that prep work done. So we are ready to get started with the paint. All right, so let's go ahead. Like I said, I've not used this before, so I'm opening up the container for the first time. And you know what I love about these containers? They're glass. These containers are glass. Now, if you're a crafter, you know that's a great deal because you're gonna use that container once it's empty for something else. So I know I've used them. I've um, made candle holders out of them, a number of things. So uh, I love that they're glass. And if you're like, oh my gosh, but I'm having it shipped, don't worry, trust me. When I got my paint in the mail, this is a very small bottle, really. It's a pint. The box was at least four times the size of this bottle. The bottle itself was wrapped, oh, several layers of bubble wrap, and then there were a bunch of peanuts in the box, and then this was actually in an individual box. So don't worry, it's gonna come to you fine. Don't be concerned. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm giving it a good stir because with any paint, sometimes all the good ingredients that helps it really perform will settle to the bottom. So, let me just show you up close. Knapsack is the color, so uh, I like it. We're gonna see what it looks like actually on our piece. And like I said, we're using our zebra brushes. I've got my spritzer in the event that I need it. Like I said, I'm not expecting to need it but you don't know, so I like to be prepared, have all my tools at hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stir stick out. I'm gonna take my brush, just wipe that down. I don't like to waste any of my paint. <laughs> so we're gonna start on the top of this one. We're gonna get some, be liberal with the amount of paint I get. And I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, this. It's so smooth. I do not think I will need to mist it at all. It just glides on. Maybe so you can see a little better. But oh my gosh, it is just gliding right on. I love this. Okay. Now I try to do just long, even strokes and I don't want to overwork my paint. So being the first coat, my goal here is to get a nice base for us to work from. I'm gonna move my paint over here. So that's our, our goal for coat number one. A nice base. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how this is just gliding right on the surface. There is no need to spritz this at all. And you know, I didn't sand down all the, the dings because I wasn't sure. I mean, I, I'm pretty confident there, this is a wood top, but I think there's probably some other thing under it. And so I didn't want to take the risk of sanding through the actual wood. All right, look at that, that's beautiful. 
also on the top there's some dings and dents but you know what sometimes I think depending on what you're trying to achieve with your piece it gives a character so I am going to leave those I debated do I go ahead and patch them up but at this point I've decided to leave them if this first coat dries and I'm not happy with how that looks then I certainly can go back and add some wood filler but right now my goal is to leave it as is all right there's the coat on the top so uh, that went on so easily let me go ahead and move this both pieces and it's dry a very nice finish actually kind of first impressions of this paint is really good it went on really nicely I did not have to mist it as you saw it just really um, just glided over the surface the consistency of this paint is a lot thinner than chalk paint so for me, that was a bit of a learning process because I tend to load up my brush when I paint and this is a much thinner consistency. So I had to be very uh, aware of how much paint I was putting on my brush so I didn't cause any drips. And I didn't, I went um, over each piece to make sure because that's the first coat. We wanna get a good base and we wanna have um, just a good surface when we do our second coat. And I'm hopeful that this is only gonna take two coats. Another thing I wanted to say, this a wood is knotty pine. Knotty pine, in my experience, will typically bleed through the paint. This did not bleed. So the primer in this paint is excellent. I'm gonna give you a close up view so you can see it and the leveling properties. I mean, it's smooth. It is extremely smooth. Now, I always just go over the top very, um, just a quick uh, sand with like a 320 grit, just to take off anything that may have been left behind from the paint. Um, but this is such a smooth finish. I'm very pleased with it so far. And I like the color. I'm thinking about uh, what color for the hardware, but I'm thinking black uh, at this point. So here's, we're ready to uh, go ahead and do the second coat, but I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look so you can see it. You can see that top coat, 
I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Really nice. There's the drawer. Man, I really want you to see how this paint is performing. I am very pleased with it. I'm looking for the next piece I do. I want to do it in kind of an olive color. That seems to be very much on trend. So I'll probably use this paint, actually. They've got a huge palette, so they've got some beautiful colors. I would encourage you to check it out. I will leave a link to their website below. So if you like this paint, you can go to their website and kind of explore the various colors they have. But uh, I'm happy so far, so let's get to work. Let's do our second coat. Okay, I have wrapped my brush in some saran wrap to just keep it nice and moist while this is drying. It did dry for two hours, but uh, the instructions say two to four hours. It's been two hours and this is, is dry. So it really just depends on the temperature of where you're at. And I'm painting inside today, so we're probably at a 70 degree temperature in the house and I have overhead fans, so that probably did help in drying it. Now on the second coat, I always um, get out my artist brush especially on pieces like this because this has so much detail that I really have to get into all these nooks and crevices and the big brush did a fine job for my base coat but for my second coat I really will use this artist brush to make sure that we've gotten everything uh, completely covered with paint so let's get started Also, one of the things that I always do, and I uh, already did this on one of the nightstands, as I turn it upside down after it's dry, because I'm selling this piece, so I want to make sure like every nook and cranny has a good coat of paint, has good coverage, so if they ever move it or turn it upside down for any reason, it looks very professional. And it looks like I'm going to reserve my opinion until we get to the drying um, phase. But I really think we're only going to need two coats. And this is a lighter color. It's a khaki color. It looks to me like it has some undertones of gray in it. Uh, but I really like it. It's a very neutral color. Um, very farmhouse, shabby chic. Um, could really fit into any decor. It really just depends on um, the furniture piece itself and what you do with the, the details. You know, typically, uh, if you watch my videos a lot, I do a lot of distressing. I'm not going to distress this piece. I really like this paint. I like the coverage. It is so nice. And I haven't, nor I probably won't, frankly, ever spray painted a piece. I like brushing on the paint. There's just something for me that's very therapeutic uh, about brushing on the paint. And I just feel I have really good control when I brush on. Now one of the things though, when you are brushing on, that I think really helps you get a good surface, a good nice finish, is to have a light hand. So when you're getting your paint on, I just go back and forth the whole length of the piece, just lightly, just to kind of smooth it out, make sure I'm reducing my brush strokes, and I find that really does give me a nice finish. There we go. That drawer looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead on this more decorative piece here, push this over so you can see, and I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in, use my artist brush, and I'm going to just go over that.
like two coats will be plenty for this piece. Let me just zoom out so you can kind of see the whole piece. You can see the whole piece here. I think it looks really nice. Okay, everyone, this, this is the final reveal. So all the paint has dried. I've put the hardware back on. And I gotta say, I am so impressed with the performance of this paint. I'm gonna take you in for a closer look so you can see how it is self-leveling. I cannot see any brush strokes on this, uh, on either piece. So let's zoom in. We'll come in a little closer for you. I want you to really see the top and just how beautiful that surface is. And as we kind of go down the rest of the piece, even the detail work, right? You just can't see any brush strokes. It really looks like I used a roller or I spray painted it. And we all know I don't spray. So this paint is my favorite paint now. And you'll see what I did is I took the hardware. I decided to use the same hardware. I just spray painted it with the Krylon flat black. And then I decided down here, it has these little knob feet. I just painted those feet black just to give it kind of a, a coordination with the hardware. But other than that, I didn't distress this piece. I didn't do anything else because I think it turned out beautiful. And it's just really elegant in my opinion. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, you know I really do appreciate you. And a big thank you to Melange Paints for sponsoring this video. Thanks again, I'll see you soon.